look what we have here we have almost dressage meets trek this is right up our street and it's interesting because um, dressage and trek are both really really good forms of training so to have the two together is really great especially for me especially because I like my dressage so much so here we have the task that we're going to be attempting so I'll point out to you kind of where it crosses over from dressage to trek because we kind of most of us know what a dressage test looks like which is similar to this but how it relates to trek is another matter so when we enter A come down the centre line that is like going through a corridor although there won't actually be a corridor there um, I love that it just says a large circle <laughs> there's no no um, measurements on that it's just as well because my arena isn't 20 meters wide uh, then we have basically that see how that relates to a trek fast walk if you like the lengthening of stride so that's like a free walk on a long rein we have a horse come to help hi Dakota all right mister um, yeah so <laughs> um, so then we change the rein so we go to a trot we come down the centre line in a light seat and again that is useful in trek for things like going up an incline up staircases things like that uh, then we do a figure of eight circle in the middle then and we do we're repeating things and then these loops relate to the bending but of course in dressage we do loops off the track five meters ten meters so that's a, a crossover there change rain and show some longer lower strides so that's like medium trot uh, which you would hope to have under low branches if your horse can drop a bit although actually medium trot I suppose they lift but anyway same that's what it's relating to and then it repeats on the other side so then we get pictures for um, pictures points for rapport and harmony and the aids response and connectivity 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 uh, so yeah and then the things they're looking for again are like the things that you'd expect them to be looking for in a dressage test and just maybe slightly differently here and there so I'm really looking forward to doing this one we're going to practice this morning but then it decided to rain it's still raining now so that's being put on hold so hopefully tomorrow okay different format here i'm going to do a voiceover with the scores as i ride the test which is different to what i've done before so for the first movement which is just going down the center line we got nine for this which I was pleased with. We did wander off the centre line slightly there, as you can see, which is why it was a nine. And then we got a nine for the circle, for the transitioning walk, and then the um, lengthening of stride in the walk, which was like for the, the controller paces, which you'd have in Trek. Um, and while this is a bit slower, I can explain. The reason I'm doing this this way is because for some reason, I'm having such issues uploading anything which is more than 15 minutes so I thought this would be the best way to get over that site problem so uh, we're coming up to a transition to trot down the center line with our light seat and tracking left and we got the best mark that we have in the whole test for this we got a 9.5 which is really good because then after that it all went horribly wrong anyway so what's coming up after this is the figure of eight in the middle of the school now I read this as kind of the circles would go to the sides of the school as for a figure of eight so this is my turn and then the circles come from X so this is my first circle so I thought I had to go to the side of the arena and come back to X and do a circle the other way completely wrong so we only got a four for this movement um, you'll see how I ride it differently next time I ride it. I knew that every time I went up to A, I had to do a circle, but guess what? I forgot. I forgot to do it. 
So oh, the next mark is for that circle, for the transition to walk and then for the free walk uh, across the diagonal going the other way. But because I didn't do the circle, uh, I only got 5.5 for this movement. Um, we're coming up to the transition to canter and the loops and the circle at the top of the arena. All of that is one mark and the transition back to trot, which we got six for. Max is finding this uh, ground really hard, so the canter is not good. So getting even into a canter is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so yeah, she, my, yeah, it's not very smooth and she says, he lacked responsiveness to the aids. Well, he did because that's horrible. Look at that. Ooh. He just didn't want to canter, basically. Okay, so we're doing our circle, and then we're going to come around and do um, what is basically a medium trot across the diagonal, which we got a seven for. Well, this and the transition to canter right, all that was um, one movement, which we got a seven for. Uh, we got a better transition, but we only got four for these next lot of loops because I didn't engage and prepare him. The stride got flatter and more rangy, and he actually broke um, on the circle, which you'll see in a minute. We didn't lower enough to go under the low branches, which is between A and K. Here's the break. Oop, gick. <laughs> getting down but not early enough and then he fell into trot so four for all that then the two turns and the ability we got 8.54 they said I hurried the first turn but it was a lovely finish we got four for rapport and harmony and four for aids response and connectivity making 70.5 all together you can see how we're both completely out of breath <laughs> knackered basically but well done seconds out round two here we go much better test this time I did take on board everything that they said and the marks did improve so the center line which we got 9 for last time, we got a 9.5. We were a bit straighter, basically. I know we wobbled a little bit, but we didn't wobble as much as we did the first time. Again, we got a 9.5 for the circle, the transition to walk, and then the free walk across the diagonal. Got 9.5, we got a 9 last time. So all this was quite good. He'd been really, really lazy warming up, so I'd just beaten him up basically <laughs> and tried to get him more forward going because uh, the canter work was just awful. But so this, he was much more forward going for the whole test. Um, so uh, warming him up a bit more forward actually paid dividends in the end. So we're going to go into a trot, we're going to go down the centre line again in a light seat which we got our best mark last time, which was 9.5, which we got again. And then coming up is the much improved figure of eight. There's a lot of to in and fro in about what it should actually look like. But once I understood what it looked like, then I did it correctly. So the circles are actually in the middle of the school here rather than going to the edges. So rather than getting four, I got 8.5 second circle and then as I said last time I knew that every time I went to A I had to do a circle guess what I forgot this is the second time of filming <laughs> the first time my phone rang and my partner had a panic um, but I did actually remember the circle but this time I forgot it again but instead of a 5.5, I got a 6.5. <laughs> oh dear. Must have been feeling a little bit flustered. <clears throat> so the canter work was much improved. The transition to canter and the loops, I got 6.4 last time. 
This time I got 9.5. They were smoother and shallower, she said, the loops. And the fact that he was more responsive to the aids. And then we're going to change the rain. Oh, don't forget the circle. There we go, we did the circle. <laughs> he still wasn't that keen about cantering, but you know, he kept going. So now he's coming into medium trot. Last time we got a 7, this time we got an 8.5 and then a better transition to canter and we got a 4 last time and this time we got an 8 so it was much better um, and it also because it includes this circle which he broke in last time and then they said I needed to get down earlier to go under the imaginary low branches so I did do that so I think that all paid off um, there we get down and try not to let him fall into trot which he did last time the turns and up the center line I got 8.5 last time this time I got 9.5 it's the first turn still wasn't very good but the immobility was very good I got 4.5 as opposed to four for both my rapport and harmony and my aids and response so that was better with a big total of 88 and a comment this is definitely a ride to be proud of really well done good boy okay. that was much better. Thank you. Got it.